Hello everybody, my name is Sulit and welcome to the Power Grid. Tonight we're going to be playing Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Now this game is very near and dear to my heart because I believe the classic make of this game was actually the game series that got me into gaming in the first place. And this was back in my toddler days and uh, I just saw my brothers playing it and I just thought this was the coolest thing ever. Of course, I never got to play it and it was like on a PS1 or a PS2, but ever since I've wanted to play video games. So this is going to be really exciting to get into. This is a remake of those classic games, by the way. This is not the original. Um, it's been made for new next gen uh, consoles and gaming platforms. So I'm really excited to tell you that here it is. Castlevania, the game that got me into gaming in the first place. So, really, really, really excited. So, let me just give you the lowdown on this game. So, we play as Belmont, Gabriel Belmont, and this game tells the story of Dracula. I just imagine that Dracula is Gabriel Belmont, but I'm not really sure. We'll find out at the end of the game. Also, his main quest really is to take down this evil cult and they call themselves the Lords of Shadow, and he has to resurrect his wife from the dead. So without further ado, let's get into the game. A storm is coming. Mankind faces ruin and despair. The world is changing, yet hope remains in the hearts of the people. We go about our daily lives never knowing the forces that can change our destinies forever. We are oblivious, Ignorant like sheep to the slaughter. This night, in the year of our Lord 1047, marks the beginning of our journey together. A journey into darkness, into madness. I watch him from the shadows. Is he the one? He has come far already, but he will be tested. Tested to the very limits of human endurance and beyond. This night he rides looking for the old gods, armed with an amulet that has led him here. Tonight he will begin his journey into oblivion. Yes, I am so excited. That narrator, good God, I wish I had his voice. Oh. <laughs> All right, here we go. The struggle for supremacy is eternal. Inevitable. Victory is the natural objective of every creature on this world. They will kill and die for their kind to dominate. Some call this eternal struggle equilibrium, the balance between light and darkness. That sounds about right. The humans must win. Oh, and it's beautiful. The graphics. These are dark times. Times without hope. Men of faith claim that this is a test from God to strengthen our spirit. Perhaps this is true. Or perhaps it is simply a pious lie. If it is true. Darkness has come to engulf one's proud humanity, and we are witnessing the end of mankind. Now, was that barking in the game or out here in the real world? Oh man, look at that cow or horse or whatever it is. It's very malnourished. How sad. Damn, here we go. Is this Alucard? Who knows? What's Alucard spelled backwards? Dracula. Oh, it's awesome. Oh, and there's his, uh, there's his famed weapon of choice. It's a crucifix. And here we have our protagonist, Gabriel Belmont. 
Looks like we're going up against some werewolves. Press X for direct attacks and Y for area attacks. Press A to jump. Combine these actions together to unleash deadly moves. Oh, I can't wait. Oh my god. Oh, that was awesome. This is a health font. Use it to restore your health. You can interact with anything that close like this. Okay, yeah. Oh, look at me. I'm just like in midair. So I just got some daggers. Throw daggers by pressing B. Press A to continue. Okay, let's take a moment to appreciate the orchestra. Not a very good conductor. Anyway, very, very good music. Oh, here comes some more. Yeah. Throw some daggers at him. Hmm. Oh. One dagger and he died. Oh, there's another one. Hmm. Hmm. He's a good shot. Oh, uh. oh, Grab the enemy. Wait. Oh, cool. Awesome. Can I grab them from when they're down? I don't know. When you kill an enemy, you gain experience points. Kill some enemies now to collect 25 experience points. Okay. I've been killing them. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, uh. Oh, look at that. I just gained five experience points from them. Ooh, yeah, another five. I'm gonna grab someone. Oh, that's awesome. You've unlocked a new skill in your skill book. This is your travel book. Use it to buy new combat moves and abilities. Check your inventory and discover useful information about the Castlevania world and its inhabitants. Ooh, that was a mouthful. Basic actions. Direct attack. Oh, oh, that's awesome. It even tells you and shows you what it would look like. Area attack. Okay. Secondary weapon, which is my throwing knives. Jump. Okay, yeah. Grab and interact. Whoa, what's this? That's new. Oh my god, I have that? I thought you had to be like really close by to them to grab them. Oh, this is even better. S experience points. The number beneath the health bar indicates the amount of experience points available to spend. This will glow when you can buy a new combo from the travel book. You can spend experience points in the travel book to learn new combos or an extra menu to unlock bonus features. Okay, yeah. Let's go look at the advanced moves. Oh my god, that's amazing. Area attack times eight. Oh my god. Holy crap, he is unstoppable. Rising Strike, I've done that, yeah. Rising Assault, yes. Guillotine, this is new. Oh, I am definitely getting this. Your chain will smash down on enemies in front of you as you land. Good for dispersing ground base on, yeah, let's buy that. Since I had 25 experience points, yes. Oh, now I've unlocked new ones. Which I'm not going to go into right now because I don't need it. What's Dagger Wave? Five daggers at once. Oh. 
All right, so here are our weapons. Iron Chain. The original cross relic did not have a chain, and thus it was not very effective as a weapon, or at least not one more, not against more earthy, earthly menaces. One of his first wielders, a brotherhood artisan by the name of Ronaldo Gandolfi, was responsible for the creation of the now iconic chain. Blah, 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 blah. It was quenched by holy water, then blessed to give the weapon more power against the undead. Okay. And of course, we have silver daggers. And what are these? Life gem medallion. Okay. I don't know anything about that. Wait, there was something else that I wanted. Characters. Main characters. Gabriel. So this is Gabriel Belmont. Oh, this is cool. I'm not going to read this all now because there's so much to read. Let's just get on with the game. Oh! There's my new move. Oh my god, that's so awesome. His iron chain reaches so far. Ooh, I know what combo to use. Uh oh. Oh snap, what's coming what's coming in that gate? Oof. Big boss battle. Oh Oh, that is a big one. Oh, I can mash A. You have unlocked a BC area injury. Great Warg. This one is called as a Great Warg. Warg. Wargs are principal strength of large like lycanthrope raiding parties. Okay, so they're like animals. And by the looks of it, it looks like it is very weak against silver knives. So we're going to use our silver knives. Ah! How do I do that? Oh, okay, cool. Wait, why does it keep telling me go this way? Ah. Okay, I've learned how to do these. Let's block another attack. Quick recover. Oh, you know what? We should probably go to this health font. Ah! I almost died. I don't have any more shurikens. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Get out of here. Get out of here. I don't need you. What? That's unfair. His health is going back up. Ooh, there's something glowy next to me. Press and hold RT. Oh! Well, that was dumb. I could have probably finished it there. Oh! Right, we're gonna do the same exact thing here. Woo. Health is going all the way back up again. Let's see what this does. Oh, that's awesome! Hopefully I don't have to keep killing those things that way because I'm sure I'm not gonna have a giant stick everywhere I go. That's what she said. <laughs> that was so cool. Who? Who are you? I am Gabriel. I have traveled here seeking the Guardian of the Lake. You are from the Order? They sent you? Is he Scottish? How do I find him? He... 
He will find you. In the forest. Aren't you glad I came? Otherwise, all y'all would have been dead. Man, the graphics are so badass. And so is the gameplay. Gameplay is the most important thing. Second to graphics, of course. Now I'm just saying graphics are better. <laughs> was so cool that was so so cool new artwork unlocked check it out in the extras menu menu in the main menu yes i found a relic silver daggers all right and i have skills that i can actually spend what a stomp oh that's new cool good to know good to know secondary weapons okay i can't spend it on anything so we're gonna end it here i'm gonna keep going chapter to chapter to chapter just like the last game that i played this is how all my games are going to be played all the let's plays we're going to keep it short or either long depending on how long or short the chapter is so thank you all so much for watching let me know what you thought of it in the uh, comments down below if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down I'd rather you liked it, so give it a thumbs up. So, <clears throat> I'm so excited over this game. I, I just can't stop grinning because, like I said, this is the game that got me into gaming. <sighs> oh, this is going to be great. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Suleet, and until next time, I will see you in the next video. Bye!